Chapter 5, Steps to Enrollment and Orientation. So, what are the steps I need to take to actually get enrolled? Well, the first step is to spend some time looking at the other presentations on the different majors available. You'll find these on the Uni Start website. Then you can start creating your own first year study plan. Okay, so what's the best way to do that? Start with the handbook. The handbook? Isn't that just a list of rules and regulations? Well, it does have the rules, but it has so much more. This year we've redesigned the online handbook for new courses to make it easier to use and to include more information and tools to help you understand and plan your course. You can download blank study plans from the handbook, as well as a checklist for enrolments. Okay. You can also search for lots of different first year study plans to help give you an idea of places to start. You can go back and look at chapter 3 for more information on how to do this. And there are also unit descriptions in the handbook so that if you want to know what material a unit covers, this is the best place to start. Okay, so where do I find these, these unit descriptions? Well, these, there's a unit section in the handbook with a search tool. That's the quickest way to find them. But you'll also find that any time a unit code appears in the handbook, it will be hyperlinked to its description. And this includes units shown on study plans. It's also a good idea to take a look at your course page. There's one for, one for every undergrad degree. Here you'll find a lot of useful information including explanation of course components, rules, advice for first year students, as well as information on opportunities on how to enrich your studies, pathways after you've finished your degree, and how to get further course advice if you need it. Whoa, okay, but it sounds like a lot of information to take in. Yes, it is, which is why it's a good idea to devote some time to just exploring the handbook and what it has to offer. Okay, got it. We're going to have a look now at the steps you need to take to organise your enrolment. The first thing is to activate your FEMI account. Whoa, whoa, hold on. What's, what's a FEMI account? Well, FEMI is the university's access management system. You log in there to access a range of university services. After you've activated your FEMI account, you should then have a look at the pre-enrolment information online. This presentation that you're watching now has five chapters and there are other presentations on the different majors across the university, also on the UniStart website. But if I look at all of this material and I'm still confused, what do I do? Well, then it would be a good idea to come along to our pre-enrolment advising sessions on campus where you'll have the chance to go to lots of talks and ask questions of student advisors. The schedule for these is on the UniStart website. Okay, then I guess I enrol then? Yeah, yeah, if you know exactly what units you wish to enrol in, in first year. But what if I don't? Well, then you can come along and get one-on-one -on -one advising at our enrolment sessions. The schedule for these is also on the UniStart website. And when I am ready to enrol, what do I do then? Well, it's a good idea to check your semester one timetable. Okay. You can do this on the timetable website by putting in the units you're intending to study. If there are any clashes, it'll show up in the timetable. But what do I do if there are clashes? Well, you can change your, enro your unit enrolment if you want to, to avoid clashes. But most students manage clashes by downloading their lectures from the LMS. LMS. Yeah, the University's Learning Management System. All your course materials can be accessed via LMS. Okay, but uh, I mean, I've got this question as well. Are all the lectures recorded? Well, most of them are. If you look for a picture of a microphone next to the unit name in the timetable, that will tell you it's being recorded. When I looked at my timetable earlier, a whole long list of tutorial times came up. Do I have to go to all of them? No. Most units will have one or two tutorials, labs or seminars each week. You can request tutorial lab and seminar allocations for most units via OLCR, the online class registration system. Right. For now, it's best just to check your lecture times and sort out your tutorials, labs and seminars later. Okay, okay. So I look at the timetable, check the lectures, manage the clashes, then what? Okay, so now you're ready to enrol. You do this via Student Connect. Well, there's so many, thing I'm, so many things I'm learning here. Student Connect, what's that? Well, Student Connect is where you manage your enrolment. It's the official record of your enrolment and you can add units to it and remove them. It's got to be difficult to use, right? Well, no, it's very straightforward and it works much like an online shopping site, complete with shopping trolley that you put your units in. Okay, where is it? Where do I find it? The web address is on the screen, and it's a really good idea to bookmark this as it's the place to go that you need to go to manage your enrolment. Okay, so once I've added my units to Student Connect, um, I guess I'm ready to start? Yeah. 
and ready to move on to orientation. Right. Do I have to go to orientation? Yes, all students are expected to attend and it's the best way to find out much of the stuff you'll need to know to get ready for study. Sure. It's in the week before semester begins, O week, and it's a really great way to begin your time here, having fun, getting to know people and learning important stuff all before semester actually starts. So once semester starts, it's all study, study, study then, I guess? No way. You get so much more out of your time here if you get involved in more than just study. On this slide, there are a few ideas to get you started. We know the, that the more connected you are with the university community, the greater your chances of success. So orientation is a great, a great way to start making those connections and beginning your student experience in a really positive way. Okay, so after orientation, what should I do if I still need help or support? Well, there are many places to ask for help at uni. You can sign up for the uni mentor scheme during enrolment or orientation. You can drop into a student faculty student office. You can ask your tutors or pop into student services. But if you're not sure where to start, a good place to begin with is Ask UWA online anytime. Okay. If you can't find the answer there, you can ask a question on that site and it will get referred to the right place to answer it. All right, sounds good. Well, I think I'm ready to start. I might just have another look at some of the materials on the Unistar website and then check out the handbook. Okay, good luck.